Hello, fellow YouTubers. Well, we're done cam posting. Today is uh, June 26th, already starting on the projects. One project that we wanted to work on is something that secured the step a little bit more. Um, if you back up a little bit, show everybody how much our step flexes when I step on it. As you can see, it flexes down. Well, when people go in and out of the camper, it also affects inside. You can feel somebody coming in and out. So one of our fellow 315 owners had one of these secure steps from Campco. It has to mount underneath, underneath the step, and then it spins out up to a grand total of 14 inches. Great, I want one. One small problem. <laughs> Have you 315 owners seen your steps? Here's where the problem is. Goes on the bottom step. Uh-oh. We got ribs. The ribs are a little bit too wide to mount this flush. I thought about putting a piece of metal across this and then just fold this under. But as you can see, as close as it may be it gets, it would be really tight. to get that step folded underneath there. Because I really would like to have it right about there. Maybe I could still get it in there, but I'll do it a little bit different. Now that I'm trying this, I already had a set way I was gonna do this and I changed my mind. Anyway, let's see, try this again. Hard to do this and I get my fish finger smashed. Hmm, I think I might have a little bit different idea here. I really would like to have it in the middle, but the easiest way is if I went over here and knocked the lip off of that ridge. Only where I want to mount this. And since when you walk into a camper, most of your weight is on the left-hand side, I'm thinking just to knock that off. If I could get the rib off and I could get this mounted all the way to the bottom, all my problems would be solved. So. With that about approximately in the center, I'm gonna mark this. And now I'm gonna pull out the magic grinder and I'm gonna try to grind. Oh no. <laughs> what did you say, Oma? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oma loves it when I pull out power tools to do a job. He ain't no Tim so, Tool Man. It might get a little loud, so I'm probably gonna have to edit the sound out. Uh, we'll go from there. Are you ready? Yeah, it's on. All right, let's see what happens. Well, I need to get on that side now. Okay. Because well, I don't want to see Jack crack. Hey. He was there. What? No way. Jack crack was I there. I like these suspenders you so and, Jack you, wouldn't show up You anymore. and Turtle. Hey, quit picking on this. At least I didn't have it go to intercourse all day. Oh, never mind. That's another video. And no, that wasn't. There's a place in Pennsylvania called Intercourse. You have to watch Steve Turtle's video to catch on to that one. Pretty funny, too. Okay, here we go. And you know what? I'm going to do a sample over here. If I just take out the both sides and if this doesn't fit between there, we have to come up with a different plan. How's that sound? That sounds good. All right, here we go. Of course, we need power. Is it working, Opa? All right, I'm back. It wasn't the plug. It was the reset on this. Apparently, the last person that used it tripped it. All right, back to what I plan on doing. Just doing a sample. bit more. All right, that's flush on that side. If this will go down between there, once I cut the other side off, which looks like, no, it won't, won't be, a, I don't think it's going to be enough. Now that I see it. Nope, it's not. Oh, 
just barely. What I may have to do is just take a hammer and just bend that rib out just a little bit. If I can, but no, that won't help me once I get this mounted all the way to that. So now the question is, now the question is, do I want to continue with this or just let it go? You already started chiseling it. I only chiseled a little corner. I don't care. Do it. No. What, what? do you think, Brian? Go for stop, it, right? Stop the recording for now. close as I can get because of the head of this okay my son went over to get a cutting wheel we decided instead of cutting both the lips off of both sides because we do not believe that this is even going to fit in there once both sides are cut off so we're just going to take this rib off from here to here he's got a cutting wheel I'll cut that off and we're going to mount that probably right about like that To the bottom of the step maybe even right up against this not sure yet I'll see what it looks like after we cut it but since I had already cut that corner off we said let's go ahead and finish taking that one out again once we get this mounted this will be stored underneath here and then you pop it out and this thing will extend up to up to 14 inches so Oh, you look like you're having fun. One of those uh, toys. That, like a two-year-old with his tinker toys. That makes clacker noise. Only problem is, they should have put an extra nut on there. So once you had it to the position you wanted, you could lock it into place. But that's okay. Wouldn't hurt. Oh, look at that. That wasn't for me because I just exposed it for the first time. Somebody nicked a thread there. That's probably why it was sticking. Anyway, we'll throw some lubricant on that. And then the step will extend up to this amount. Again, with it on the left-hand side where we go in and out it. In and out. Okay. We'll go ahead and uh, pause the video while we're uh, getting our tools out. Alright, so we're gonna cut the one rib off with the pneumatic cutter and then we'll use the other grinder to try to make it nice and smooth as much as close as we can. So here we go. I think we need some air pressure. Is it running? Uh uh. Mom, turn off the video. Don't rock. This is how these little projects turn into big projects, and why I don't even want to start them sometimes. It's what, 3 30 in the afternoon? <laughs> this came in the mail today. I ordered it on Amazon. Uh, the Campaholics. You watch the YouTubers, the Campaholics, you should. Nice group. They have a 315. Got this idea from them. Apparently I didn't pay attention. I didn't maybe they have different steps. I don't know. I didn't notice where he had to cut a step. Maybe I should have waited and saw how he did it, but I could tell you I probably would have done it my own way anyway. So there's only 40 pounds of air on the tank, so that's why I uh, uh, couldn't get this thing going. So that sounds a little better. Let's try this again. I'm just barely scratching it.
Maybe I better let the pressure build up a little more. I maybe, think I'm... maybe you need to go back and forth. And then maybe you can bend it over. And then you well, can cut off a little more. Well, that's my intention. I was going to just try to get a good you know, like... notch up in it. Because aluminum breaks pretty easy once once you got a good scarring in it. And it'll break clean too. So, But the problem is i got to make that cut first. Give me a hammer. I'll break it for you. Yeah. <laughs> You stick to the videotaping, I'll stick to the breaking things. I think I'm missing some more air to that tank. It's not even, even moving. Well, no. I don't have barely have a scratch in it. So what do you have to say? I got a lot of cutting to do. So you might as well pause it. I think everybody sees what I'm gonna do. We'll uh we'll we'll record how long this took to do. And we'll, when we get back. Okay, it's on. Okay. Alright, so the pneumatic cutter wasn't working too well. Uh, after approximately 12 minutes, I had absolutely nothing cut off. So my son come over at the crescent wrench, and since it's aluminum, everybody knows aluminum is brittle, and once you break it one way and break it back the other way, it snaps off. So he got it off, now, and I got the piece where I basically want it. So now I'm gonna use the grinder and try to smooth that out a little bit before we mount it. So that's where we stand. So I need that extension cord. Let's see what we can do here. Well, it is hump day, you know. It is hump day. Uh, a little bit more right there but as you can see it's getting a lot better i don't plan to put the holes right through the rib i'm just going to move it back probably about like that but i just want to make sure i got a pretty good flush amount and i'm still able to get this leg out of there when we want to retract it so so far it's turning out pretty good don't you think Emma? yep okay a little bit more grinding and then I'll pull out the pull out the drill. Okay, we'll this be back. This did come with two uh, two screws, so what's coming? We'll be back. We'll be back. Back on. <clears throat> that, that's pretty good, right there. So I think I'm gonna mark this mark the one hole, and then I'll pick it up. Well, I could probably mark both. I'll mark both holes. We'll drill them, and then I'll bring the head of the screw down. Burn your hand. No, why? What do you see? I think that's. Oh, that's uh, rust water from the oh. from the bottom of the uh, air compressor. Oh, okay. I don't think poop has been draining it. It's on. I still have the camera on it. Huh? I still have the camera on it. Okay. Well. Oh, here it is. I was wondering what I did with the. Uh... Okay, is that where we want it? It's all the way in. Yes. You have to remember that for storage, it has to be screwed all the way in. <coughs> and I'm putting it like right about in the middle between here and here. And push down. Mark that hole. Where's the other hole? It's underneath the... Oh, underneath the arm. Arm. Make sure I don't move it while I try to unclamp it. I moved it. I knew it. Well, you could still match it up. You got a little dot there. Yeah. You could have left that open and hold it. Well, I can't get you on that side, so... Whoop. Wonderful. Two dots. One, two...
<laughs> yeah, that was a lot easier by breaking it off, but. Sorry. And I'm glad I only took one rib out. That still leaves the, the integrity of the step with the other three. And by adding this, I'm not really taking anything away. Maybe I'm adding a little bit. Don't know. Uh, where's those package of screws? Right there. I try not to drill the holes too much bigger than the screw that they're holding because it makes for a nice tighter fit. And... I like this one. Are you going all the way through that? I am. Well, there'll be two... How do you, two, how do you think the screws are going to go through the step? And there'll be two things trampling on top then, huh? There'll be two... They'll the be two, flattened, though. There'll be two little heads of the screw coming through the top. I'll hammer them if they're too tight. No. <laughs> I'm just dying to do something I with that go hammer. Get a center punch, but it's aluminum, so. Oh, hello. Before I drill the second one, what they say? Drill once, check twice. No. Is that what they say? No. Is that good? This turned into a three-hour project. I started at 20 after 3. It's now 20 to 4. No. 20 minutes. No. Okay. Now Ooh. let's see what kind of a burr I left on the other side. Oh, nice clean cut. Okay. So, let me get the rest of the screws out here, and then we'll mount it. Uh, they're not going to come out of there because it's in separate compartment on the bottom. Yeah, I see that now. Duh. Thank you for your observation there, Alma. Duh. Well, let's see if I can drop something on the ground so I can't find it. If you drop them, you find them, dude. the hole don't line up. Not my oh, problem. No. What am I going to do? Just drill another hole. There's one. That's not tight enough yet. Yeah, you noticed, huh? Can you live with those two screws? You will as soon as I... Uh... I guess I don't have a choice. Oh, poor thing. <clears throat> it had a lock washer on it. I thought it would grab. I knew nope, it would. I fine. knew it wouldn't. Yeah, so much of why there was a lock washer on it. Okay. Is that tight enough? No, I'm going to have to use a different tool. I got one. I have a nut driver that will probably fit right on there. Oh, uh, you got a tool for here's everything. Here's the big test. Oh. Let's not spill my... This, this, if everybody's wondering why did I go through all that process, you probably saw at the beginning of this video, I had to be able to fold my step in. So I had to stay permanently attached there. I don't have to worry about putting it away. I drop it out. Find out how much I need.
remember, righty tighty, lefty loose. Yeah, well, we're, that's what we're doing. Okay, don't block it. Well, let me see your fat head. My fat head? <laughs> yeah, that's not the same as a, a motorcycle, is it? Oh, I don't know. All right, we're starting to make contact, so I'll just bring it up a little bit, turn it a couple times. All right, step on that. You step on it, I'm videotaping. Oh, okay. Not tight yet. Much better. I won't feel you going out to do the dogs in the morning. You won't shake the camper. Much, much better. I think it come down a little bit more though. <clears throat> well, I'm sh you know what would probably make it better is if we put it down on a block. Instead of down on the stone. You know what I mean? You have a block? Or one of them yellow blocks? Yeah. Uh, yeah, even those yellow blocks would work. Well, I have the keys. Well, I'm going to stop it again. Okay. Okay, it's, it's on. Watch what you say about me. I'm sure, that ain't gonna move. Oh, there we go. Much better. You ready? Oh, much firmer. <coughs> much, much firmer. I like it. Okay, well, that's the basics of it. By the way, you'd probably notice that last step is a little long, but we also have one of these. So, so Oma could come up and reach the keypad on the door lock. So, that's pretty much the installation. I do still have to tighten those two screws, but you get the gist of of this project thanks for coming along i don't usually do these do-it-yourselfers but because uh, sometimes they don't go as this well <laughs> so thank you for watching and please subscribe is that how you're going to end all the videos now with the snap of my suspenders i think oh my come here <laughs> no that's your cue to turn it off Okay, so we got some bonus footage for you. As a lot of you know, if you've been watching my videos or our Facebook page, I've added an inverter and I've added some AGM batteries in there. That's not the reason I brought this video up. I wanted to show you my storage. Right now, there are six 32 quart storage containers in there. Here's number seven. Stand back there a minute, Oma. Here's number seven. As you can see, fits right between the wall and the boards. It won't even hit, they won't even touch the battery, so I don't have to worry about it vibrating against it. Some lubricants, cleaners, and paints. Sit on top of this one. A container, large container. With some of my Velcro straps and stuff. It's it's overkill actually. Some barbecue stuff. Potting store soil and and uh, hummingbird food go there. A trash can with the, some more hummingbird food and a small step in the event we need one. Is that the one from inside? Yes, that's. I have one inside in the bathroom too. Oh, uh, we have about three of them. We have three of them. You need them. We got one in the truck, one in here, and one in the. One I'm inside I'm the sure. RV. I need one everywhere. So, with the way this is. Go ahead and point the the way this is all stored if you guys can see it is uh nothing moves so that's the bonus furnish footage there 32 quart flat bins from walmart probably paid six or seven dollars for them i don't remember i had a couple i got a couple more and i got rid of the big long ones that i didn't need anymore but anyway short story there's your two minute bonus video. Bye. Say bye, Oma. Bye.